Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. I wanted to do one video where I show you how to seed start strawberry plants. They can be kind of expensive to buy one plant at a time. I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you how to pot them up. Talk about all the steps in between that. And then I will also plant one outside, show you how that is done. So the whole process is seed starting indoors, letting them grow, potting them up, getting them outside. And it just takes a while. It's not difficult. They are a challenge with respect to patience. These may take 10 days, 20 days, even 30 days to germinate. And in fact, the strawberry plants here, I did a video on January 20th. This is when they were started indoors. And now it is March 27th, so that's about 10 weeks. They're gonna take anywhere from, depending how fast they grow, eight to 12 weeks to get to size, to pot them up into other containers. But what's really cool is you can see that's a stray uh, purple cone flower in there, by the way. How nice these transplants are right here. You can also see some of the strawberry plants are just that big. And actually, right down here, some of them just germinated. So germination can take a long time. Now, the strawberry plants that you see here, I did stratify the pack of seeds, and it's getting a little bit late in the year. You can still do it the way I'm going to show you. But if you have time, put your strawberries in the refrigerator for four weeks. That chills them down. It gives them that period where they think they're out in a you know cold, stratifies them basically, and gets them ready that when they come out of the refrigerator, it gets into the warm starting mix, warmth under the grow lights, they germinate better. But you don't have to do that. So again, these are started on January 20th. These are Alpine strawberries, same as these. Now I will link that video I did on January 20th. You can check that out. It's a little bit more detailed because it only fo focuses on seed starting. And I will also link my entire 2022 playlist on seed starting so that you can just get more information about, you know, what's the best way to start seeds indoors. So I'm going to fill... This one pack will be enough to fill 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36 cells. I like using the smaller cells because these take so long to germinate, I'd rather start them in smaller cells. In theory, you could start them in something bigger like this. I sell these at my seed shop. If you start them in here, you wouldn't have to pot them up, but if more than two or three plants come up, you would have to divide them. Or, you know, you could start them in something like this, or yogurt containers with holes in it. But for strawberries, because they germinate at different times, I like to keep them all in these smaller cells. Your seed starting mix can be any seed starting mix. This is a peat-based starting mix with vermiculite, pre-moistened. I do recommend hydrating any starting mix with boiling water to reduce the risk of fungus gnats. And again, if you check the videos, in the video description will talk more about that. So I fill up the cells. Oh, the other thing is I this is not a must, but I use Vermisterra worm castings. I put one or two cups into a container about this size, 12 quarts of material. This is all you really need to have wonderful indoor seed starts. You can add in other fertilizers, but you just don't need it. Worm castings are perfect. A nice, slow, low feed of N, P, and K. So when, you're, so when you set up the seed starting mix, you want this to be kind of firm because strawberry seeds are just going to sit on the surface of the seed starting mix. You don't want this to be too loose and that the seeds fall down too deep. Firm packing and the seeds go right on top. The seeds are really fine and I put, and that's why you saw some germinating at different times in the same cell. I put in, and it's hard to do, and you're not going to be able to see it, but just trust me. We're just dropping two or three seeds per cell. It's fine if, you know, four or five drop. But we're just scattering two or three on the surface. The pack of seeds only cost me $2.19. And there's still plenty of seeds in there. Seeds will last a good three years or so if you take care of them in the house. So let me just get those back in there. So when you're buying a strawberry plant, they can easily cost you three or four dollars a plant. Right here we have 36 that we're going to grow for two dollars and 19 cents. And once these get outside, they drop runners, they reproduce, and you can really get a whole strawberry patch going for really two bucks. 
So now that I dropped the seeds on, you're going to just lightly press them in. And remember, we pre-moisten pre the seed starting mix. That's why it's nice and dark. That's enough moisture to absorb into the seed and begin the process of germination. And this could take a couple of weeks before you see them germinate. And they're really tiny when they start. Let's see if I can find that one in here. I mean, they're going to be real. This one's been growing for about a week, but you can see how small it is right there. You know, be patient. That's the most important thing is be patient with your strawberry plants. These were just watered. You don't want to keep these soaking wet either. So nice and dark when they start to lighten, when the surface of this starts to lighten a light brown, you know, that's when you want to bottom water. So I put water into the tray. They sit in the tray, they absorb the water from the bottom, let them dry again from this dark color to a nice light brown color so that you just give the surface a drying period. That helps reduce molds and fungus and problems like that. Sometimes if you keep the starting mix uh, really moist and soggy 24-7, your plants struggle, they can die off. Sometimes it's too much water in there. The plant roots don't get enough oxygen. So it's just good to let this surface dry to a light brown. A day or two later, go ahead, water it in. Your strawberry plants will be okay. All your seeds will be okay like that. Now we planted these on the surface. You definitely want to bottom water. If you try and kind of use a watering can on here, you're going to splash the seeds everywhere and you're going to lose most of them over the side and it's just going to be a problem. And I recommend bottom watering for everything. That's all you have to do. We would label these Alpine March 27th. They're going to the grow lights. You want the grow lights to be two or three inches above here to start. While you're waiting for germination, you want your plants, plants when they break the surface to be hit by intense light. So you keep the lights two or three inches above there. If you have really powerful light, you could have to raise it. After they're growing for, I don't know, two, three, four weeks under the grow lights that are closer, you can begin to raise the grow lights. The lights are most important right at the beginning at germination. And you're just going to keep an eye on these and you're going to be patient. Two, three weeks, you'll start to see some germination. It could be a little bit longer. Now come about 10, 12 weeks later, your strawberries should look like this. You could pot them up into any kind of container. I'm going to actually drop them into here. This is plenty of room for the strawberry plants to continue to grow. Now, we're going to be getting 19 degree temperatures tomorrow, 22 degrees tonight. So I'm having some severe frost coming basically. So these aren't going to go outside. However, these larger plants, let's see if there's only one in here. So this is just one plant. So this plant technically is large enough to go right outside into your container or into the ground. So you want it to be about this size. I'm going to let these grow a little bit longer in these bigger containers. I'll show you how to pot them up. You could pot these up when they're a little bit smaller, but because they're going to germinate at different rates, you can leave them in here and just kind of, you know, eyeball it, something like that. Because these are being grown indoors, they don't have any resistance to the UV rays of the sun. They're not used to the wind. They're not used to the cold. So you have to transition these slowly to the outdoors over seven days or acclimate them. And these have already been acclimated. You'll see some of the leaves are a little bit dry or beat up. They got a little bit too much sun on a couple of days. But these are ready to go outside. So when I pop them up, I will continue moving them in and indoors or moving them outdoors and indoors while I let them grow before I put them into their final plot, um, final spot. So potting up is pretty simple. Let's get these out of the way. We'll do that one. Uh, this one looks pretty good. And these have all just been watered. Actually, they've been rained on. And this is a two and a half inch cell container. Fill it full of soil loosely. And all I do is then put my finger in there Make a big circle. You're going to drop this to the same level. You don't want to bury past the crown of the strawberry plant. That's where the roots meet the stems. 
and that's it. This plant is potted up, and I would basically just set up my whole tree like that. Um, let's do this one. And I would fill all six of them, just like I did that single cup. Nice big circle. Pop this in, same level as the starting mix. And that's ready to continue to grow in there. Let me fill this one up. So these are all single plants going into here. So that's a six pack of all strawberries I started myself. They can continue to grow in here for a while. And if you were going to buy these at the store, this would cost you at least $18. So they were single plants that were easy just to pop out of the cells. And I just want to show you up close. You can see strawberry plants just forming. That's how tiny they are. So I'll let these continue to grow. Now, because they're putting in three or four seeds, sometimes you're going to have two or three plants in here. And what you do is you just separate them and you just break this right down the middle. You can hear everything tear. These are going to get potted up just like the plants right there. So the, let me just get this closer. You're going to split right down the middle here. You know, kind of holding on to both plants and just breaking right down the middle. They're really resilient. So now I have four plants there. Same thing with this one. Again, see I'm breaking down the middle, so plenty of roots stay attached to both of these. So that's six plants now. Here's another one. This one actually has three, and I don't want to break all three of them, so I'm just going to put two to the right, leave these intact, and later I could divide these out when the plants are bigger. So now I have eight plants. So you get the idea. So I'm going to divide. Or I'm yeah. I'm going to divide all these up, get them into bigger containers, show you what that looks like, and then we'll take some outside, pretending they got a couple more weeks of growth. The temperatures outside are great, and how you would just put them into a um, vertical tower. This is what it looks like after they're all divided, potted up. So I have eight, 14, 20, 26, 27. Strawberry plants, three bucks a piece. What is that, like $81? So in the cells, I found smaller plants and just dropped them into one cell so they'll be easy to take care of. These will go under my grow lights. These are going to be continue to be transitioned outdoors. They'll stay out during the day. They'll come in at night. But I just wanted to show you. Let's see if I can get this in there. So at two weeks or three weeks, they're going to look like this. Going into maybe the fourth or fifth week, they're going to look like this, and then, you know, week six, seven, and eight, they'll start getting larger like that. As you're getting into the eighth, ninth, tenth week, they're going to start getting larger. So that's just generally speaking, you know, how they start. And they're really, really tiny. In fact, I smashed one right there. Hopefully that one's okay. But just look how small they are. So be patient with these. So that is... You know, a lot of money that I saved by just starting a $2 pack of seeds indoors. So once that they've been potted up, again, I use the Vermisterra worm castings. I think that's just the best stuff to use pound for pound. You get a lot of worm castings in there for your seed starts. Now, these just got potted up. I would water them in with a water-soluble fertilizer. You could use the chemical types. They're not going to mess up your plants or anything like that while there's still seed starts. Or you could use um, fish emulsion. And that's what I tend to use more often, but it does smell really bad. So you don't want to be doing this in your living room if your grow light station is around there. I have a room that I can do this in. But anything that's just a low water soluble fertilizer, give them a feed. And then these are just good to go until you get them outside. There's no need to fertilize these every two weeks or anything like that. All right, so let's take this guy outside and pretend that uh, the weather's great, everything's going to be great, and this plant will look great in, in the tower of strawberries. These are my Greenstalk Garden Vertical Towers, perfect for growing strawberries. I'm affiliated with them. You can find information in the video description. I just did a video on strawberry plants that have overwintered, so I clean these up, 
refreshed all this soil, the strawberry plants are ready to be potted into, into the towers. Now, strawberry plants can take a nice hard freeze. In January and February here, it may get below 20 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. That's like, what, minus four, minus five Celsius. Here's a little transplant. He looks pretty good. Two or three more weeks, you know, going out during the day, coming into the house at night, the leaves will start to look something like this. And unless you have to rush them out, you know, take your time, let these plants fully develop. This guy looks really good. I mean, look at that leaf right there starting to come out. So you're just gonna loosen a pocket. Same thing in the ground. You'd have, you know, prepared ground nice and loose and just loosen the pocket like that. And then we're gonna pop this guy right into here, making sure, again, we don't bury the crown under the soil. Nice and loose, you know, make that circle in there. Pop out the plant. Now typically this would have grown for two more weeks, so there'd be roots all around here and this would be a lot more firm. You're gonna just drop it in and you're just gonna make sure you don't bury the crown. I'm gonna keep saying that because that's a big mistake people make and the plant can die off. And that's it. You know, we are set up, you know, pretty much for this to grow, produce strawberries, produce runners, have a great season. All right, please subscribe, ring the bell. I'll show you how I take care of these plants, take care of the towers, how I propagate them, how I harvest and all that kind of stuff. Again, thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. And this is a great way to save a lot of money. Just start your strawberries indoors, be patient, and you're gonna end up with 30, 40 of them really easily.